I was brought up in a fishing village not far from here. As a kid I used to spend all my time in the harbour and in rock pools. I think there's really two things that attract me to marine biology. One of which is the emotional appeal of the sea. You're always thinking, now how does the sea work? How do marine mammals work? And there's also the intellectual side of the biology and how animals have adapted to live in their marine environment. So those two things together, I think, is what makes marine biology for me an exciting subject. The Sea Mammal Research Unit based in the University of St Andrews and uh, we're one of the main focuses of marine mammal science in the UK and also in the world. One of the things that we're discovering is that animals have very specific places they go to sea. We want to know where seals operate at sea so we can avoid those areas. Well, we've got two species of seal in the UK here. We've got the grey seal and we've got the harbour seal. There are great concerns about the harbour seal because locally the populations have been in great decline. Now all this is within a context of exploitation of the sea. For instance, uh, there's going to be wind farms probably put up uh, not far away from here. So we've been asked by Scottish Government to see if there's a way that we can conserve seals while encouraging an industry that's going to produce green energy. We actually put the very first ever uh, telemetry tag. That is a tag that you can stick on a seal and it'll tell you where it's going and how it's diving. And we did that back in the mid 80s. The problem with this system though, we were only getting the tip of the iceberg of the data that was actually being collected and so we could only see approximately where the seals were and perhaps get a location once or twice a day. And Vodafone suggested to me that using their M2M system would be a solution. So now we've formed a partnership with Vodafone M2M. We have our tag, which is essentially a mobile phone, and we will glue it onto the fur of the seal in a way that it will fall off when the animal bolts. And this tag will record the dive depth, and every time it comes to the surface, it'll get a GPS location. That information is sent to us through the mobile phone system. We can actually now quite confidently take tags which are attuned to the UK system, and then take it to Canada, or take this to Hawaii, and be assured that it will work. We're very keen that the partnership that we've got with Vodafone is a long-lasting one because I think both of us have got things to gain. Vodafone haven't just given us an off-the-shelf solution. We are working with them and their engineers so they can understand the problems that we have in getting information from seals at sea. I think the next few years are going to be particularly exciting. We will be refining our tag technology so that we get the most appropriate information. This is opening up you know, great new avenues both for us and for our colleagues worldwide. So it doesn't just help UK conservation, it is of global benefit.